Well, good morning, everybody. Um, guys in the back, let me just let y'all know, I'm going to use my, my microphone for her too, okay? I think that one's uh, out of battery. So having said that, getting all the technicalities done, guys, I'm um, glad to see you guys here. I have a wonderful chance to be with you guys, introduce you to a friend of mine who uh, I got a chance to meet a few weeks ago, and God is doing some great things in her life. And Lisa, I'm going to take this off so I can talk to you. Has there been a time in your life where you've asked Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior? Yes. Tell me about that time. Well... I grew up in a Christian family in the Northeast. Um, I went to church in Sunday school, um, and uh, I attended a Christian-affiliated college, got married, had children, worked 30 years at General Dynamics, and God was always speaking to me. Um, during those 30 years, I only went to church periodically. And when I retired, I wanted to return to my the church I'd grown up in, and I found it had changed quite a bit. <coughs> Meantime, we, my husband and I decided to become snowbirds. We moved down here to Kingsland a few years ago. I was out walking my dogs in our Laurel Island neighborhood. And I met a wonderful lady who you, some of you know, Suzanne Day. Um, she became a very good friend and neighbor uh, and introduced me to many, many people and including Kingsland First Baptist Church. Um, she also urged me to come to Wednesday afternoon Bible study. And those ladies really, really spoke to me. And um, I just decided a week ago, two weeks ago, to become baptized, and that's that's about the long story short. I met with Doctor Doctor. Just Brian. I'm Brian. <laughs> I met with Brian about a week ago, and um, uh, as we prayed and. I confessed my sins to God. I asked forgiveness and committed myself to following Him. Amen. 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 She, um, uh, when when you and I got a chance to speak with each other, it was a first. We uh, we actually met. Uh, she she exercises up at the Camden County PSA where I ex also exercise, and so. We uh, got together up there after, uh, after I was done exercising, and she was getting ready to exercise, and we went off uh, into the room uh, next to where, uh, was it Off the Rockers uh, does their thing? And, uh, and so she and I were talking about uh, her religious background and the difference between being religious and having Christ as the Lord and Savior of her life, and she said, I believe God's calling me to make that decision. And so with uh, the music from Off the Rockers playing the Top Gun theme song, um, <laughs> She prayed to receive Christ. I was like, that's the first, girl. I'll never forget that. And so uh, you're coming forward today saying you've put your faith and trust in Jesus and you want to follow him with your life. I am. Right. Based upon your open and unashamed confession of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, it's my privilege to baptize you, my sister. You. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bear the Christ through baptism. A raised to walk in brand new life. I love you. I'm right here. You can go ahead. Careful. I just want you to know it's an exciting thing to see today both of the ordinances at play. We'll talk about them in just a moment. But um, the church is the only responsible body to officiate and conduct the Lord's Supper and baptism. And so together, uh, we need to discover that how that should be a natural rhythm in the life of this body of believers if we're going to be the church. So what a, what a joy it is today for us to be able to do both of these as we begin our time together. Would you bow your heads and pray with me? Father God, thank you for this amazing testimony of a life, Lord. Um, although it was, in many respects, good and moral, Lord, it was absent of salvation. And so, God, thank you for bringing salvation to her and to her family. God, thank you for uh, letting her stand today and boldly proclaim that she has put her faith and trust in what Jesus did on the cross. And 
So God, I thank you for that today. And I pray that if there's anyone here today, a family member, a friend, somebody that doesn't know her, but is feeling that same call of God on their life to confess their sins and be born again. God, I pray that they would do that today. And God, may you get all of the glory in that, Lord. I pray that in Jesus' holy name and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Let's stand and worship the Lord together this morning.